I'm going to tell you a story that touches deep. It's something that I don't talk about much, but I felt like I should get it off my chest, though. So here we go. I was just a little girl living on the east side, thinking the whole world was good. My uncle took his life to a rope, hanging down in the basement of his sister's. Yeah, so we took my cousins and they lived above us in the two family. Nine years old, I was here just chilling and then my cousin started touching me. I didn't know what to do. I thought he was being playful, so I let it rock for a little bit. Then I felt uncomfortable, started saying things to him. I said, if you do this again, I'm going to tell my dad on you. He said, if you do that, I'm going to hit you hard in the face. You better keep this between us before I get... I said, okay. Two years passed by. Same thing again. I come home from school. He wants to, you know, touch me and then just rape me. I was scared to come home. I just, I hated it though. I would rather be at school. But my friends thought I was, I was just unhappy. They were wondering why I was always depressed and had cut marks on my arm. You know, I couldn't explain. I couldn't tell them that my blood was raping me every day. I wanted to tell my mom. I couldn't explain to her why I was wetting the bed at, you know, 10. You know, there was days on the weekend when my dad wanted to be alone. He told us to go upstairs, stay there for the night. I didn't want to go. I told dad, please let me stay. He said, nah, just go be with your cousins. Have a good day. My mom would leave for work at night. I would tell her, don't go. Let me come with you, mom. Please, just don't go. She said, nah, you got to stay here tonight because, you know, it's work, baby. What am I going to do with you there? You know, I went upstairs. My cousins never saw anything. Every time we were alone, he would put pressure on me. He would hold me down and choke me and smack me. I'm a baby cousin, though. Why can't you just love me i thought you were my brother my friend my best friend everything you know we both had learning disabilities you understood my pain but then one day you just came i was 13 everything ended everything came out of the dark but you know i thought you got me pregnant or gave me aids i had to go get tested in seventh grade